Want to speak real Indonesian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at IndonesianPod101.com. You are at a train station where you're attempting to buy an express ticket from a ticket machine. Which option should you choose to buy an express ticket? Which option should you choose to buy an express ticket? The option on the bottom left is for express trains. Treni espresso. You are at a train station where you've just bought an express ticket. Which train car row and seat number are you in? Which train car row and seat number are you in? The ticket says that you're in train car number one in the eighth row in seat C. Carrozza 1, fila 8, posto C. You are at a train station where you're reading the train schedule for an express ticket that you've just bought. On which days are there no express trains running? On which days are there no express trains running? There are no express trains running on public holidays and the third Sunday of every month. Giorni festivi, terza domenica di ogni mese. You are on a platform at a train station where you're waiting for your train. Suddenly, a message appears on the display. What does the message on the display mean? What does the message on the display mean? The display reads, train passing through. Treno in transito. You are at a train station where you're looking for the best exit to catch a taxi. Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank? Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank?
you should take the east exit in order to get to the taxi rank. Uscita est. You just got a text message from your hotel's pickup service. What does the first number refer to? What does the first number refer to? The number in the text message refers to the customer code. Codice cliente. You are checking out the hotel's facilities when you see a notice on a door. What does the notice mean? What does the notice mean? The notice reads, no entry. Vietato l'accesso. You search online for the nearest bus service. What bus service does the page show? What bus service does the page show? The web page shows a free shuttle service. Servizio navetta gratuito. You're about to enter a small shop, but there's a handwritten note on the door. What does the message on the note mean? What does the message on the note mean? The note reads, I'll be right back. Torno subito. There's a national holiday coming up, and you notice that shops have special notices about having different opening hours. From when will the opening hours return to normal? From when will the opening hours return to normal? The notice says that the opening hours will be back to normal on January 7th. 
7 gennaio. Want to speak real Italian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at italianpod101.com. You are sitting on a train that is about to arrive at the next train station. Suddenly, a notice appears on the display. What does the message on the display mean? What does the message on the display mean? The display reads, next stop is the last stop. La prossima fermata è l'ultima fermata. You've lost your wallet at a train station. Hoping to get your wallet back, you go to look at a map of the entire train station. Where is the lost and found office located? Where is the lost and found office located? The lost and found office is located in number 5 on the first floor. Numero 5 al primo piano. You are on a platform at a train station where you stumble across a notice. What does this notice mean? What does this notice mean? The notice reads, this platform will be closed for maintenance between 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. Questo binario verrà chiuso per lavori di manutenzione tra le ore 23 e le ore 5. You are at a train station where you stumble across a large notice on a bulletin board. What does the notice say? What does the notice say? The notice reads, express trains will not run on New Year's Day. I treni veloci non transiteranno a Capodanno. You are exiting a train station when a person suddenly hands you a leaflet. What kind of deal is offered on this leaflet?
What kind of deal is offered on this leaflet? The offer is buy two, get one free. Due per uno. You're about to have lunch in a local restaurant. What's included with the main course? What's included with the main course? The sign says, one drink and a dessert are included. Una bevanda e un dolce sono inclusi. You're about to order your lunch and you're interested in the lunch menu. What does the lunch menu say? What does the lunch menu say? The lunch menu says that today's special is spicy chicken with grilled vegetables. Specialità del giorno. Pollo piccante. Verdure alla griglia. There's a notice at the bottom of the lunch menu. What does the notice say? What does the notice say? The notice says there is an extra charge for alcoholic beverages. Costo aggiuntivo. Bevande alcoliche. You're finished with your meal and you're looking at the dessert menu. What kinds of drinks can you choose with the cake set? What kinds of drinks can you choose with the cake set? The menu shows that you can choose from coffee or tea. Caffè, tè. You just had lunch, paid and received your receipt. What is marked with a circle?
What is marked with a circle? The circled parts of the receipt tell you the subtotal and the total. Totale parziale. Totale. Want to speak real Italian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at italianpod101.com. You are at a lost and found office at a train station, where you're hoping to retrieve a wallet that you've lost. The staff member presents you with a form to fill out. What information do you need to fill out to complete the form? What information do you need to fill out to complete the form? The form states that you need to fill out your name, address, phone number, and a description of your lost property. Nome, cognome, indirizzo, Numero telefonico, descrizione dell'oggetto. You are on a platform at a train station where you've been waiting for your train. It appears to be running late. Suddenly, a message appears on the display. What does the message on the display mean? What does the message on the display mean? The display reads, train services on this line have been canceled due to an accident on the train tracks. We apologize for the inconvenience. Il servizio dei treni su questa linea è stato soppresso a causa di un incidente lungo la linea ferroviaria. Ci scusiamo per il disagio. You are at a train station where you're trying to reserve a seat on an express train using a ticket machine. A special notice is posted on the machine. Which option should you use to reserve a seat on the express train? Which option should you use to reserve a seat on the express train? The notice says that you should go to the counter if you would like to reserve a seat on an express train. Per un treno espresso con posto prenotato si reca alla biglietteria. You've just arrived at your destination and you're attempting to exit the train station. Unfortunately, the exit you usually take is blocked by some ongoing renovations. A signboard is posted informing you of another route. How should you proceed?
How should you proceed? The sign tells you to go back in the opposite direction, take the escalators up to the second floor, and to turn right and take the east exit. Si prega di prendere le scale mobili dal lato opposto del binario, salire al secondo piano, girare a destra e usare l'uscita est. You are at a train station reading a leaflet that you found at the train station. The leaflet is advertising a new shopping center that just opened. How do you get to the new shopping center? How do you get to the new shopping center? The leaflet says that you can use Platform 4 or Platform 2 on public holidays to get to the new shopping center. Il binario 4 o il binario 2 nei giorni festivi. You're reading an event guide and are going to see an upcoming art event. What does the guide say about bringing food to the event? What does the guide say about bringing food to the event? The description reads that outside food and drink is prohibited. Vietato introdurre cibo e bevande dall'esterno. You're planning to buy an instant meal. How much water do you add and what do you do once it's added? How much water do you add and what do you do once it's added? You add 100 cc of boiling water, wait 3 to 5 minutes, then stir the contents. Aggiungere 100 centilitri di acqua bollente. Attendere da 3 a 5 minuti, poi mescolare il contenuto. You're at the clothing store and want to try on a few shirts. How many items are allowed in the fitting room?
How many items are allowed in the fitting room? The notice says that a maximum of three items per customer are permitted inside the fitting room. Sono ammessi al massimo tre articoli per cliente all'interno del camerino. After paying for your shirt, you notice the return policy is printed on the receipt. What items are excluded from the return policy? What items are excluded from the return policy? The sentence means, please note that all sale items are excluded from this policy and are non-returnable. Si prega di notare che tutti gli articoli in saldo sono esclusi da questo regolamento e non sono restituibili. With your receipt, you also received a coupon. Where do you have to present the coupon? Where do you have to present the coupon? It says, present this coupon at the counter at the time of purchase to receive a 20% discount off all items. Presentare questo buono al bancone al momento dell'acquisto per ricevere uno sconto del 20% su tutti i prodotti. Want to speak real Italian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at italianpod101.com. You are aboard an express train where you're about to arrive at your next destination. Suddenly, the train slows and comes to an unexpected stop clearly short of the station. There are no instructions from the conductor. Concerned, you pick up and read the emergency instructions pamphlet aboard the train. According to the pamphlet, what should you do in this situation? According to the pamphlet, what should you do in this situation?
The pamphlet says that you should not attempt to exit the train because the train tracks are electrified. Instead, you should stay seated and wait for help to arrive. Restare seduti ed attendere che arrivi il soccorso. You are at a train station platform where you are waiting for your train. There's a small pamphlet sitting on a display case about a new train that will be introduced next year. You decide to pick up and read the pamphlet. What is the main feature and the biggest advantage of the new train? What is the main feature and the biggest advantage of the new train? The main feature is that the train is propelled by magnetism. The biggest advantage is that it can reach twice the speed of any train that runs on tracks. Il treno viene azionato dal magnetismo. Può raggiungere il doppio della velocità di ogni altro treno che corre sui binari. You just got off the train at the closest station to your friend's new house, where he's invited you to a party. Which exit should you use to get to your friend's new house? Which exit should you use to get to your friend's new house? Although the east exit would have normally been the closest exit, it's currently under construction, so you should take the south exit instead. Prendere l'uscita sud. You are at a train station where you're heading to the lost and found office to retrieve a lost passport. According to an email you received from the train company, what things do you need to provide to the staff? What things do you need to provide to the staff? The email says that you need to present an identification document and to pay a small fee. Documento d'identità, pagare una piccola tassa. You are exiting a train station when a big notice posted on the bulletin board catches your attention. 
the notice highlights permanent changes made to the train schedule. How will trains on Fridays be affected? How will trains on Fridays be affected? Trains on Fridays will now start at 6 a.m. and will end at 2 a.m. Inizieranno alle ore 6 e finiranno alle ore 2. Suddenly you get bad abdominal pain and decide to buy some medicine. What are the instructions regarding the recommended dosage on the label? What are the instructions regarding the recommended dosage on the label? The label says that daily dosage, two pills per day after eating. Dosaggio giornaliero. Due capsule al giorno dopo i pasti. Your condition is not getting better, and you decide to go to the nearby clinic. You receive a medical report. What is the diagnosis? You receive a medical report. What is the diagnosis? The diagnosis is Food poisoning caused by contaminated food. Intossicazione alimentare causata da cibo contaminato. You just bought a few items from a local shop online. What information does the website say about the delivery date?
What information does the website say about the delivery date? The website says that delivery dates differ depending on the delivery method, but all dates should be calculated from the next working day. Le date di consegna variano a seconda del metodo di consegna, ma tutte le date devono essere calcolate a partire dal giorno lavorativo successivo. The day after ordering an item online, you receive an email notification. How can you track your package? How can you track your package? The email says that you can track your package on this website by logging into your account, and after logging in, click on your order history and enter the order number found in this email. Può seguire il suo pacco su questo sito web accedendo al proprio account. Dopo l'accesso, clicchi sullo stato del suo ordine e inserisca il numero dell'ordine che si trova nella presente mail. You're reading the instructions of an electronic device you've just bought. What should you do in case of overheating? What should you do in case of overheating? The manual says that if you notice the surface overheating, Unplug the device immediately and allow it to cool down before handling again. Se si nota il surriscaldamento della superficie, scollegare immediatamente il dispositivo e lasciarlo raffreddare prima di maneggiare di nuovo. Reading in a foreign language is great, but a big challenge related to reading is that you often need a high level of fluency before it gets really fun. And if a book isn't fun, then you're not going to want to read it. The entire point of sitting down with a book is to enjoy it and have a good time being absorbed in the story or learning the information. And that's just not going to happen if you need to look up every second word. It'll take you out of the story, and it will feel like a chore, like an assignment from school where you have to read the book for a class. 
but there is a resource that you might not know about that can really help your skills, bilingual books. In this video, we'll look at how to supercharge your vocabulary with bilingual reading. This is a simple solution that will make reading, especially at the beginner levels, easier and fun. These are books that have your target language on the left page and your native language on the right. But how do you use it? Well, it's all in the name. You read a book in two languages at once, the language that you're learning plus the language that you're fluent in. There are a few different formats for bilingual books, but the most common one is the one previously mentioned. You have a book that has your foreign language on one side and your native language on the other. It's also possible to find stories that are presented bilingually, paragraph by paragraph. The principle is the same, but the information is just in more bite-sized chunks, so your eyes need to travel less to read both texts. The great thing about bilingual reading is that you can quickly switch between languages, and the translation is presented to you, so you don't need to try to distinguish between the 10 variants of a word that your dictionary offers. Which brings us to the main advantage. Bilingual reading is great for building your initial vocabulary. When you first try reading in a new language, you'll probably find that you need a relatively high level of fluency before you can make a strong connection with the words on the page. Reading is a lot of fun if you already know about 80% of the words, as you can guess the meaning of another 15% from context and then look up the remaining few words you do not understand. But if you're starting out, you might know only 10% of the words. That's where bilingual reading can help a lot. Here's a way to use a bilingual book. Read a sentence first in your target language. See if you understand it. If you do, think about the meaning of some of the key words. Then, quickly glance on the other side of the page and check the translation. This way, you'll be able to have fun reading and learn contextual vocabulary at the same time. Let's look at why it works well if you're learning a language at home. If you're taking language classes, then your teacher sometimes supports you in a similar way to the translated page. When you're reading a text with your teacher, you can ask them questions whenever you do not understand something. They'll give you a translation quickly and can share other ways in which a word can be used. But if you're learning from home, you don't have that advantage. Bilingual reading offers the same benefits as you can quickly check the translation of a sentence and see what each word means. The main goal of bilingual books is to bridge the gap between the beginner and intermediate to more advanced levels. They can help set you up to read real books without any translations. Some language purists might recommend you read only stories that were originally written in your target language, but any book you enjoy is best to encourage your studies. Use bilingual reading to improve your vocabulary and reading comprehension skills until you get so good that you don't need it anymore. It doesn't matter what language you're learning. Bilingual reading works for every language. The principles of language learning don't change, only the implementation does. You also don't really need too much knowledge at the start. If you like a real challenge, then you could even start reading some simple bilingual stories without any prior experience in a language. However, just as with other language programs and courses, the more people who speak a specific language, the easier it'll be to find bilingual books. Bilingual reading can be a great addition to your normal study routine, and it can give you an idea of where you are in your studies and what goals to consider. But for even more ways to learn a new language, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.